Health authorities of the two Koreas met for the first time in 11 years to discuss cooperation in health and medical care. They saw eye to eye on the need to work together in stopping the spread of epidemics as agreed by the leaders of Seoul and Pyongyang at the September summit. Oh Jung-hee sheds light on what the session produced. The two Koreas are expanding the scope of their cooperation from railways, roads and forestation to now health and medical care. Senior health officials from Seoul and Pyongyang met at the Joint Liaison Office in Kaesong on Wednesday. Attending were South Korea's Vice Health Minister Kwon Duk Tor and North Korea's Pang Myung Soo, who heads Pyongyang's hygiene agency. They mainly discussed ways to jointly tackle contagious diseases and agreed to set up necessary measures to do that, like cooperation and technology. They've also agreed to work together in diagnosing and preventing epidemics like tuberculosis and malaria and to proceed with various other public health projects. To kickstart their work, South and North will be exchanging information on contagious diseases on a trial basis starting before the end of this year. All this is to prevent the inflow and spread of epidemics on the Korean peninsula amid concern that diseases could spread as interactions and exchanges between the two Koreas deepen further and become more frequent. This is the first time health officials from Seoul and Pyongyang have met in 11 years. After the second inter-Korean summit back in 2007, the two Koreas had a working-level meeting and set up specific work plans, but the project couldn't go on after South Korea adopted its own unilateral sanctions against the North in 2010 in response to the regime's sinking of a South Korean warship. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.